Some of the other activities we do when we initially read in data is to decide how we're going to handle null values within the data. We go back to our Python days and we remember methods like drop NA and fill NA. And we have them here in PySpark with a slight variation in terms of how the transformations occur. Okay, so let's take a look at them here in this video. Uh, so we read in the player's file, we see that we have about 11,060 records. Okay, so if we were to get rid of rows that had any null values, we would do something like this in PySpark. And I can say players equals the players data frame dot uh, drop NA, simply like that. Okay, and then let's take a look at our count afterwards. So I'm going to add another cell and then we'll inspect what happens after. Okay, so we read in the file, we'll do initial count, let's drop any rows that have nulls, and now we see, look, it's the same count. So obviously we have no null values in this data, but we can test this out here. I'm going to take this first record here and we'll get rid of the first name and we'll get rid of the weight there at the end. That's nice and easy. Okay. And let's come back and we're going to reread that comma separated file. We'll do an initial count, drop any rows that are null. And if we get an after count, there's that one row that's been eliminated from the set because it has null values. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but what if we wanted to uh, fill values with something else? Rather, we say we want to keep the row. We don't get rid of it, but we want to take the nulls within columns and replace it with something else. That would be your fill NA that we're so familiar with in uh, pandas and here we can do this in PySpark as well. Okay, so let's say we go unknown, uh, fill NA unknown, like take all null values that you can find, fill them with uh, unknown. Okay, we'll learn a few things from this process. So I'm going to reread this comma separated file. We see you have 1160 here to begin with. We'll fill any nulls with unknown. And now, of course, if we do a count, see, now we should keep those 1160. We don't drop any rows. They're still there. But if we look at the player's data frame, you know, we learn something here. And I'm just going to show the first record since that's the only one we're dealing with here. That was null. Notice that under the player name, it made it unknown, but it didn't do it for weight. Okay, and obviously what we have here is a data type issue. I can't put a string in the weight column because it's a integer type. All right, so of course we have to, because we're in a data frame, we have to do adhere to the rules of each column's data type. We have this option with fill NA to specify the column and also uh, its specific fill value. So what I prefer to do here is pass it a dictionary. And we could do this in pandas as well, where we say, okay, well, I'm gonna take a dictionary of key value pairs, and I'm gonna say uh, the uh, player name column will be transformed to unknown if it's null. So there's our first key value pair. And then we'll take this weight column here, Oops, let me just fix that up here. Grab this and put that in the keyboard uh, clipboard. And we'll change the weight, let's say for sake, we'll just put that to zero, that's an integer, okay? This should align better now to um, our uh, fill NA. So the player name, anytime it's null, will be unknown. And the weight column, anytime it is null, we'll put that to zero, okay? So uh, let's go back, we'll reread that comma separate file, okay? We'll transform our nulls to a specific values. Of course, we keep the same 1160. And now when we do the show, we see we've done our replace values. Okay, so up to this point, a couple things to note about the differences between PySpark and Pandas. First of all, if you're looking at help on both these methods, notice we're so used to using drop NA or fill NA. Notice that drop NA is uh, an alias for another method, okay? So if we, we, in PySpark, we can also say on the data frame, refer to the null property, NA, we call the drop method. So dot NA dot drop is equivalent to just drop NA, all right? And the same for fill NA, it's an alias for NA dot fill, 
Okay, so both are acceptable. I just always go to what I already know in pandas. Okay, now one important difference between PySpark and pandas, if I was to change this code, okay, and do this and say, okay, read in the comma separated file. We don't have to worry about counts anymore. And here we can say on the data frame itself, call the fill NA method. Okay, that course that runs. But then when we look at the actual data frame, we see no changes. Okay. See, with PySpark, you do not have a property for this method or sorry, a keyword argument to say the in place equals true, meaning changing in memory in place. You do not have that option here in PySpark. So if you want to persist the change of a particular data frame, you either make a new variable, something like this, when I might caps lock on. Okay, or scrub players or new players, you can make a new variable, which is often preferred, or you can overwrite the existing variable uh, with this transformation itself. Okay, so there you go, dropping or filling null values.